we knew we knew that the Knicks were at least going to make sure that they were going to make this one interesting. That's for sure because we made every game this season interesting. But what's important is the Knicks won. Julius Randle playing his old squad, dropping 30 points, back-to-back -back 30s. But Julius Randle with 32 points, eight boards, five assists, and he was a plus six today, shooting pretty well. Letting us see that baseline jumper. But yet again, we had another Alec Burks night. A night where Alec Burks just looked like he could not miss a single shot in the fourth quarter, but he was the one that closed down. We saw Derrick Rose getting some closing minutes. Unfortunately, RJ Barrett wasn't there for us tonight, but we made sure that we were able to handle business as we won the game 116 to 106. But welcome back to the post game here on Knicks Fan TV, hosted by your boy CK, the lovely Ashley, and my guy, CP number two, aka Alex. How you guys doing? I gotta throw it up real quick. Where's the energy we starting this one off? Right, we won, y'all. We won. Happy times, good times ahead. How are you guys feeling? Like, like I said, we saw Julius Randle give us another 30-point game. It's like it's the Julius Randle tour. CP left us with the Julius Randle tour this week. We got, you know, his ex-team, the Lakers, his ex-team, the Pelicans. Now he's going back home to play against Dallas on Friday. He's just it's the Julius Randle tour. And so far, he's starting off really well. So how you guys feel about tonight? A good win from the New York Knickerbockers, man. You know, it kind of looked a little shaky here and there. It was a close game. You thought Zion was just going to bully his way through this, through the New York Knicks and have like a, a crazy type of victory. You saw him going against three, one on three, finishing a layup. Then he went one on five. That was just wild. And he finished a layup. But then the Knicks come out in the second half. You see Julius Randle go five for six, going crazy from downtown. Alec Burke starts to come alive. And that's just what we needed, man. This is what we needed to seal the game. And then fourth quarter, we put on the clamps. Didn't allow the, only allowed the Pelicans to score 17 points against us. Mm. Really big from our team. <clears throat> Taj was playing good minutes. We had everyone just hitting well today. Even Reggie Bullock, Alfred Payne did a decent job as well with his limited minutes as well. Right. So just a solid victory overall for, for the New York Knicks. Ashley, right. what about you? Talk to us, Ash. Listen, I say it always, and I'll say it again, the captain – Julius Randall of the SS Randall Express has done it once again. It looked a little shaky in the beginning. It looked like Zion was locking him up. I didn't really know what was going on and things like that. But I will say that, like always, he turns it around. And yeah. I don't know if it's the braids. I don't know if it's the Travis Scott meets IQ. Yes. Braid situation he got going on. But this is like <laughs> <laughs> This is like Julius Randle 2.0. And it's exciting to see this. It's great to see this, actually, especially in this stretch. Reggie Bullock, also 16 solid points yeah. from him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, double-digit points from him. He was out there scoring and doing what he needed to do. You know, Taj Gibson had a solid eight. Quiet night from my boy RJ, the nine god. But, you know, everybody, even, you know, Jordan didn't have the best of games sometimes. So I'll give <laughs> I'll give RJ um, a break. He did come through for us a couple games ago with that clutch shot. He is not – he's not Randall in terms of he, yet that he's going to be in, day in and day out on that, you know, captain save this team train. But I'm just excited to see that this team is in the right trajectory. Four in a row is a yes. big – deal especially especially when you are in the last few weeks of the season that is a big deal you can't lose these games we talked about it the other day we cannot lose the games that you are supposed to win that you can win because those games are supposed to be gimmies because it's only going to get harder so i'm proud of this team for doing what they needed to do mm. and getting it done so yeah, 116, 106, and I, I love something that you brought up, and that was uh, somebody that we give a, lot, a hard time to, and no, not Alfred Payton. Alfred Payton got his shine. He failed the Ashley test because we said back-to-back -back games, how was he going to fare? He he played okay, but it wasn't to the level of Monday night's game, but we will give some love to Reggie Bullock tonight because Reggie Bullock is a guy that I feel like gets a, a bad rap <laughs> from fan, Knicks fans as well in a different sense uh, because, you know, he just looks elite in the first half damn near every single game and then just falls off in the second half outside of his defense. But tonight I feel like he gave us two good halves. Um, definitely did a good job against Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram did start to cook a little bit in the, the fourth quarter, but, I mean, there's only so much you can do against a dude that big and that long pause, but, you know, there's only so much you can do with that. But Reggie Bullock played well tonight. I feel like the others did a good job tonight. There's a lot of... Um, 
you know, it, it felt like the game was getting a little slow throughout, like, the second quarter, or the beginning of the third. But towards the end of the third, a little bit of the fourth, we saw um, the team pick it up, both the starting unit and the bench. But speaking of starting unit, we got to talk about R.J. Barrett. Uh, R.J. Barrett didn't have a great mm-hmm. game tonight, back-to-back. Uh, not, I won't say bad games, but they weren't the best. They weren't R.J. Barrett-type games. Two for ten tonight. Uh, only at six points. Uh, he was a negative 13. Still got on the boards with four rebounds. Uh, two steals. You know, he was doing a solid job defensively. But a lot of people were going into this game, myself included, um, excited to see Zion and, and, and RJ go, t- go toe-to-toe for the first time since that Summer League game. Because uh, Zion missed the two uh, matchups, or the one, excuse me, matchup that we had last year. Um against the uh the Knicks and the Pelicans so it was we were looking I was looking forward to seeing that matchup but you know RJ Barrett had a bit of a rough game luckily we get that uh do over in the garden on Sunday but um any any worries any thoughts about RJ Barrett's uh slower game again two 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 bad games in a row especially after his long stretch of games do you think he's worn out you think he's just on a just in a little bit of a slump right now what, what says you Alex I think he's just I think it's like a small slump you know, we saw Julius go through it, too, after he had his thigh contusion. He wasn't playing like himself. But I think this is just a small slump that we're seeing from R.J. Barrett. He'll bounce back. He had one at the beginning of the season, as we saw when they played after they played the Indiana Pacers, right? And he had that poor shooting where he would just only shoot threes and drive to the basket. His numbers were just down. I think he was shooting 20% from three at that time. So I think it's just something of he's going to have to just work through. It's yeah. nothing too serious. It's not. I don't think it's fatigue or anything like that. Players have these type of games, man. They just – it's it's common no one's going to be on fire every single night you know lebron has his bad games even though it's very far and few between and <laughs> rj's only a so- rj's only a sophomore so he's still you know he's going there's go- he's going to learn how to adapt his game where it's just if he's not hitting the three if he's not game- feeling the mid-range you know he did a decent he had a decent four game mm-hmm. and tibbs decided to go with burks because burks was just cooking you know you, if you're going to leave you could just leave burks and bullock out tonight so I think we would have gotten more RJ if those guys weren't playing and we would have seen something else happen tonight. But I think it was a combo of RJ wasn't feeling it in the first half. Burks and Bullock were just doing a, a, a decent job. But I don't think it's anything to worry about. Yeah. I agree. But, well, you, you said about the it nine great. Guy. Yeah. You said it. You said it perfectly. You know, all players have, quote unquote, bad games, not their best performance. We've seen this from RJ before. He goes through these periods of time where – he has a bunch of bunch of really really good games and he drops a little bit but then the great thing about rj and we speak to it often is his mentality it's Mm. the way that he can kind of bring himself back to where he was and you know what's happened in the past doesn't phase him he doesn't get into these mindsets where it's like i've had two bad games it's the end of the world he's able to pull himself out of whatever mind deep part of his mind that he's in that doesn't get him on track for those games and he's able to bounce back and i'm okay of him doing it in these games right now, and that you have your teammates who can pick up the slack, don't do it in the playoffs. Don't do it in the play-in. Don't do it, you know, in the post when it counts. Yeah, he'll he'll snap back though. He'll be fine. Yeah, We've I, seen this from him before. Yeah, I, I co-sign with both of you guys, but I'm also going to take it a step further because you know everybody want to give Julius a hard time. I, I've been watching RJ Barrett a long time, big RJ Barrett fan, and I've always been a fan of Fro J. I'm just saying RJ Barrett recently cut his hair, and we talk about Julius Randle and the Fro and the Rose and. Ever since, all of a sudden, he want to go buzzed, and all of a sudden, he, he buzzed a jump shot with it. I don't. I, I, that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying. I'm just. Oh, man. I'm just saying. You know, bring back Froj, but you know, whatever. You know, R, I agree. RJ will be fine. He'll get past it, whatever. But I miss the Froj. I miss the Jay Fro. The equivalent of Frozo's super suit. You guys see the Incredibles? <laughs> Woman, where, where my is super my super suit? suit? <laughs> <laughs> where is my? Super suit. <laughs> RJ's looking for the pieces of his hair that his barber yeah, cut off. Yeah, man. His barber right now. Yo, where are the pieces of my fro? I need bro? it back, bro. I yeah. Need the fro back. Need it ASAP. I'm saying. Yes. Shout out to the Fro J uh, family in the channel. Other people understand what I'm talking about, but yeah, it's all right. It's all right. He'll be all right. I agree with you guys 100. Uh, percent Like I said, he had a great stretch of games. You know, these games are to be expected at some point. Uh, he's 20 years old. He's allowed. You know what I mean? I think people forget that so often that you know the NBA players, basketball players in general. They have off nights. He's had two of them after having a good stretch of games. He'll be okay. He still did a lot of other stuff. Surprise, you know, with the the defense, he did a, a solid job defensively. But we needed offense tonight. We got that from, uh, like you guys mentioned, with from Derrick Rose and Alec Burke. So he, you know, sat out that fourth quarter, and I had no problem with it tonight. I, I thought it was fine. He will be fine. Uh, we will have another game on Friday where we play the Mavericks, and we'll see what goes on there. But we're gonna go to our first caller of the night. Uh, first caller, a very known caller. He calls himself. 
the GOAT simp himself. I go by the na- nickname of Smooth. We got Angel coming in for this first call. Let me get him in here. Angel, what is good? Angel from Philly. How you doing, bro? Yo, CK2K, what's good, bro? What's good, Smooth? How you doing, bro? <laughs> Yo, what's going on, Alex and um, my queen, mi amor, como esta? Hola, papo, bien, bien, and tú? I'm oh. I'm I'm good. I'm good. I, li, hey, listen, man. Before I get to my point, man, it's a real good day. I don't got me some free Longhorn today. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely gotta show them some love. And um, you know, I really wanted to see Archery go off, man. I was really looking forward to it. Um, I think you guys said something about how do you feel about his slump? Um, I mean, we all know like all great players go through you know games like this. So I'm not really too worried about rj um i would like to see him shoot the ball more you know even when he doesn't have it um because i just think that he's such a star in the making that you know i don't want to just see him shoot 10 or 13 times a game and you know, i think he's way better than that so i just want to see a little bit more aggression but um you know first things first man shout out to you know julius broadway bully randall you know he dropped 32 points eight rebounds five assists yes, sir. you know uh it's looking real good right now the fact that we're about to you know move into that six seed you know um obviously you got to keep winning but you know we got some winnable games coming up and i'm I'm really impressed with how we played i thought offensively tonight i thought we played really good you know we hit 17 threes that caught me off guard and um <laughs> We only gave up, I think it was uh, six threes, you know, to the Pelicans. So I thought that was great team defense. And, um, you know, uh, I thought when it came down to it most though, in that fourth quarter, um, you know, we were struggling, you know, controlling the paint. You know, we gave up like 50 points in the paint. But then, you know, we only gave up six in the fourth quarter. So I thought that was really, really clutch. And then, um, you know, Alec Burks, man, I mean, this guy dropped 21 points. You know, he had 16 in the second half. And, um, you know, I thought he closed the deal, you know, also with Julius Randle. And uh, we were able to come away come away with the win. And, um, you know, it's it's looking real good, bro. I'm excited. You know, I'm hyped. You know, I'm just happy that we won. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, we got Dallas coming up, you know. And um, I just I – just, I want this Dallas game, man. Yeah, I want this I game so bad. I, I just, you know, I just want to smother it in Porzingis' face. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still mad about that one that we lost. So, again, once again, thank you guys for taking my call. Appreciate you guys to my queen. Keep doing your thing. You know, I support you 100. percent And you look great, by the way. And uh, you guys uh, have a good night. Take have easy, a good Angel. night. Appreciate you, bro, <laughs> man. <laughs> Angel in top form tonight but he br- he brought some good points um i mean we we, we did kind of talk about this in the last show you know the pelicans are not one of, i think they're the worst uh uh team at what perimeter defense because we did get a, a nice 70 we were 70 for 33 tonight as a team which is what 51 per- 50 something like that math please um which is, which is really good for us. and But the points in the paint were to be expected, especially when we heard that Nolan's Noel was going to be out for us tonight. And when Zion Williamson is, you know, Zion Williamson, that's predominantly where a lot of his points are going to come from. So uh, those two things I was expecting. But the fact that we were making them was the biggest part. So definitely something we took advantage of and it, and it helped us out late. Um, but, yeah, to his point, like he said, I, I really want this, this Dallas game. I don't know about you guys. I really want this Dallas game. I don't want KP getting any more uh, uh, nice. respect respect over us or not he ain't getting no respect for me excuse me any more uh uh games on us there we go but yeah we need this one on friday i i, I can't see him win again um but yeah we got our closer i i wasn't sure if we were gonna get him this week but you know who figured it out he found his way through the discord you know rivers the he was trying to figure out his way he's going through the jungle he called me a few times and he, he figured it out He's understood. He knows what to do to make sure that he can give you guys the gospel. No CP in the building. We, we know we got, you know, CP light in the building. But Jay Boog is here to close us out. And I'm so happy to have him. Jay Boog, bless us with the words, man. How you doing, bro? 
Salute, 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 salute to the team. Salute to everybody following, man. I'm glad to figure this thing out. You know what I'm saying? It took <laughs> yeah. me two games to get this thing right, man. <laughs> two games, man. I'm glad to be back with the fam. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. Shout out to my man, CK2K, holding it down. And shout out to, you know what I'm saying, the smooth brother over there. I ain't going to give you the Franco look this time. I'm going to hit you with the Pete Sampras. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and shout out to the young Mariah Carey and everybody that's following the whole nation. You know what I'm saying? Everybody switching up and changing up. Oh, y'all like the the corn? Y'all missing the cornrows? Y'all wanted the braid back? Nah, guess what? I'm gonna turn to the Mickey, the Mickey, the Mickey, the Mickey, the Mac. That's right. He got the little, little crisscross haircut do right now. You know what I'm saying? He on one right now. This is the Julius Randle tour right now. You know what I'm saying? He knocking off everybody that he's in revenge for, and he gonna he gonna end the whole thing up in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they lucked up and hit a buzzer beater tonight, man. The man was on his knee when he shot a trade, man. God bless him for doing that. But we on a mission right here, right now. You know what I'm saying? That's four games in a row. That's the four horsemen, man. That's Arn Anderson. That's Ole Anderson. That's Tully Blanchett. Woo! And the Ric Flair. First time all year round. We've been knocking at this door six times, man. Six times we had three games winning streak. Now we got a four-game winning streak, man. Tell me who can't love and appreciate this team right here, what we doing, man. You got to love it, man. You got to be back be behind them, man. You got to be promoting them, man. You got to be riding with us, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't, then you somewhere far, far away right now. You got to appreciate everything. Everything we doing, man, from all the way from the office all the way to the last man on the bench, you know what I'm saying? Everybody putting in that hard-earned work, you know what I'm saying? And you got to love it, man. We ain't even playing no game. We doing our thing so smooth and so easy. You got Lonzo Ball over there on the other side clapping for the wrong team on the wrong basket end, you know what I'm saying? But that's all good and dandy, you know what I'm saying? He want to be a part of us, you know what I'm saying? He's still clapping in New Orleans for us, you know what I'm saying? That's a good look. And I got to support my man, you know what I'm saying, Burks, you know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me how many guards, you know, come off the bench, can play the one two or the three it's time to start you know solidifying some of my guys so i can hear it right now boop 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 back the brain truck up man get that man some paper you know what i'm saying stop holding on to that bread we still got money on the side right now that we ain't doing nothing with it get that man some bread because sooner or later we got to start paying some of our own people and bringing them back and letting everybody know we appreciate the hard work everything you're doing you know what I'm saying and we're going to start paying people and building this roster because you can't keep switching the bench out every year every year you know what I'm saying and really I like Lonzo Ball and I hear y'all talking about it but I'm going to set the fire off right now if I can get my hands on that boy Devontae Mitchell you know what I'm saying coming out of um, Baylor I'm telling you I ain't even going to go draft um, Lonzo because that boy is a 6'2 bigger size you know what I'm saying Ty Lawson he can get it from the mid range the long race he got the handle to go left to right and he play on on court full court defense you know what i'm saying and he's a champion and he ain't scared he got heart he got to learn to make free throws you know what i'm saying but rj had to do that from his first years too but he got better at him too you know what i'm saying so i'm just throwing something else out there man but i appreciate the four game winning streak we got right here you know what i'm saying and tell cpa cp you know what i'm saying go and take your time go and take two weeks off you know what i'm saying we on the win streak you know what i'm saying the squad got it everybody holding everything down you know what i'm saying to the full you know what I'm saying? We love and miss you, man. But we rocking. You deserve a break because you've been going hard ever since, you know what I'm saying? The off season last year, you know what I'm saying? So you got a team right here that you build and you put together, you know what I'm saying? And they appreciate it and they got you and they holding it down. And everybody's still following suit, you know what I'm saying? Only one ain't following suit is that dude, Max Kellerman. He talking about his throat was hurt. Nah, your throat won't hurt. It was the Knicks going upside the Lakers. So we already knew you was going to fake out and weren't going to show up that next day, you know what I'm saying? But it's all cool. You showed up the next day, you know what I'm saying? But my man, Ain't gonna still get at you, man. And I, I gotta stick to the quarantine, you know what I'm saying? Everybody stay healthy and safe, man. Protect yourself, protect your loved ones, you know what I'm saying? Protect your home, spray lights all, you know what I'm saying? Use Clorox, do anything you gotta do, stay healthy and safe, man. That thing is still out there. It don't care about nobody, who are you, who you are, where you're from, what state, no city, no country, no nothing, man. It is not racist, man. So please, man, protect yourself and love your one. Y'all have a great one tonight, you know what I'm saying? And I see y'all in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Peace, love, and happiness. Oh, love, j Bo. Appreciate you, man. That's another one, yo. You got, you know, and the church something. said, amen. 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 Mm.